glorious sunshine greeted the players up first on Thursday at the Portugal Open, where Svetlana Kuznetsova was up against Romina Oprandi, and the former Italian, who now represents Switzerland, enjoyed a prosperous start, getting an early break to lead 4-2. She's a player whose variation and anticipation have served her well over the years, and she quickly took the opening set 6-2 and enjoyed a slender lead midway through the second. More good work from Aprandi meant she was quick to move within a point of victory. So the former French Open champion dispatched in straight sets and Aprandi continues to impress on the clay. Yeah, I think it's a very good start for European clay season. And yeah, I hope I can continue this way, it would be very nice for me. In the first men's match of the day on centre court, Uzbekistan's Denis Istomin had the unenviable task of taking on the crowd and local favourite Gastio Eliash, who had a fantastic win over Horatio Zabaios in the opening round, and as a result was still very much on a high. However, it was Istomin who was the stronger of the two in the opening set. Portuguese number two hit back strongly in the second. And after a real tussle in the third, he eventually found himself at match point. So a brilliant win, and he did it the hard way earning his place in the quarterfinals with a 3-6-6-1-6-4 victory, much to everybody's delight. For me, it's very special to play here in front of my own crowd, you know. Um, I've played uh, a lot of big tournaments, but, uh, you know, there's nothing like playing at home. And I'm really happy that I can, you know, uh, do my best in front of my home crowd and I hope I can keep it going and I hope I, uh, I hope they can come and support me uh, a, a bit more tomorrow and keep on going. Second seed Stanislas Vavrinka was playing in his first match of the tournament after receiving a bye initially. And he was always going to have his work cut out as he was up against Spain's Albert Ramos, who'd beaten Carlos Burlock earlier in the week. And the left-hander started well eventually taking the opening set easily, six games to one. But Vavrinka fought back by winning the second set 6-3 to take the match into a decider. And despite serving for it in the tenth game, he still had to battle hard when facing break point. Before finally reaching match point. So Varinka got it done in the end to move safely through to the last eight. It was not easy, especially that I had a few match points at 5-3, the, the, the game before I was still thinking maybe a little bit about that, but it starts well with new balls, but uh, as I say, the more important for me is to, to win that match, it doesn't matter how, and uh, I'm really happy for that, I'm really happy to get the quarter tomorrow, and uh, I'm sure I'm going to play better tomorrow.